Hello, my name is Dr. Sam High. I am an internal medicine doctor. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome to Raw Talk. This is episode number 46. Raw Talk is unfiltered, it's unedited. I give you my thoughts and opinions on health. In this episode, I will be talking about the cancer industry. What if I told you cancer wasn't just a random, unlucky disease? What if I told you that every year, billions of dollars flow through an industry that depends on you staying sick, not getting well? And what if I told you there's a simple, powerful truth about cancer that's been buried for nearly a century? A truth that could save lives, but doesn't make anyone rich. Today, we're going to talk about what the cancer industry doesn't want you to know. And that's that cancer is addicted to sugar. That sugar, the same stuff you're told is fine in moderation, is cancer's favorite fuel. And the truth is, if you cut off that fuel supply, you can starve cancer. But here's a catch. Almost no one in mainstream medicine is telling you this. And it's not because they don't know. It's because it would collapse one of the most profitable industries on the planet. In the 1920s, a German scientist named Otto Warburg made a groundbreaking discovery. He found that cancer cells have a fundamentally different way of producing energy compared to healthy cells. Healthy cells use oxygen to efficiently turn glucose into energy, a process called oxidative phosphorylation. But cancer cells, they prefer fermentation, a primitive, inefficient process that runs almost entirely on glucose. Even in the presence of oxygen, cancer cells choose this path. This became known as the Warburg effect. Warburg's research should have changed cancer treatment forever. He even won the Nobel Prize in 1931 for his work on cellular respiration. But instead of becoming the foundation for cancer prevention. His work was sidelined because it didn't fit the business model. Let's be blunt. Cancer is a multi-billion dollar industry. In the U.S. alone, cancer care is projected to cost over $240 billion per year by 2030. And here's the ugly truth. Preventing cancer is far less profitable than treating it. Chemotherapy, radiation, endless scans, expensive medications, these are revenue streams. But telling people to cut sugar, avoid processed carbs, and change their diet, that's not a billable procedure. In fact, Big food and big pharma are very collaborative in a very strange way. The, the very companies making ultra-processed, sugar-laden junk food are often the same ones funding pharmaceutical research. PepsiCo has donated millions to cancer research foundations. Coca-Cola sponsors, they sponsor health initiatives. It's the equivalent of a cigarette company funding lung cancer awareness, a complete conflict of interest. Let's cut through the noise. Every carbohydrate you eat breaks down into glucose, whether it's white sugar, healthy brown rice, or your, mor or your morning oatmeal. It all spikes blood sugar and cancer cells love it. PET scans, 
the gold standard for detecting cancer, prove it. How do they work? They inject you with a radioactive glucose tracer. Cancer cells light up like Christmas trees because they're sucking up sugar at a rate that's about 10 to 12 times faster than normal cells. The logic is undeniable. If cancer cells thrive on glucose, reducing glucose availability should slow their growth. Yet mainstream cancer treatment rarely includes aggressive dietary intervention. Why is that? Because you can't patent steak and butter. Here's where the carnivore diet comes in. When you eliminate all plant-based carbohydrates, you push your body into nutritional ketosis, a state where fat, not sugar, becomes your primary fuel. Healthy cells, healthy cells adapt beautifully to burning fat and ketones. But cancer cells, many can't make the switch. They're metabolically inflexible. Cut off their glucose and you hit them where it hurts. Studies on ketogenic diets in cancer patients are showing promise. Reduce tumor growth rates. Improved survival in animals, animal models. And better quality of life in humans. Carnivore takes that one step further. Zero carbs, zero plant toxins, maximum nutrient density. So why don't you hear this in every oncologist's office? Because medicine is dominated by a pharmaceutical model. The system is designed to manage disease, not cure it. A cancer patient on chemo can bring in hundreds of thousands of dollars in treatment revenue. A cancer survivor who changed their diet, that's a one-time visit. And remember, hospitals make money not just from treatment, but from the food they serve. Ever walk through a hospital cafeteria? Sugary drinks, pastries, heart healthy, whole grain muffins. It's like they're feeding the disease. I've had patients look me in the eye and say, why didn't anyone tell me? People who went through hell with chemo only to discover later that dietary change could have been part of their fight. I'm not saying diet cures every cancer, but ignoring the role of sugar in cancer growth is medical malpractice in slow motion. People deserve the truth so they can make informed choices, not be kept in the dark while their lives are on the line. And here's the hope. You can take control. You can reduce your cancer risk starting today. And you don't need permission. You don't need permission from the medical establishment to stop feeding the disease. Here's what you can do now. Eliminate sugar and processed carbs completely. Not in moderation. Zero. Adopt a carnivore or strict ketogenic diet. Make fat and protein your primary fuels. Focus on nutrient density. Steak, eggs, fish, liver. Give your body what it needs to repair. Manage insulin. Chronically high insulin feeds both cancer and metabolic disease. Educate others. Share this knowledge because the system isn't going to do it for you.
The cancer industry doesn't fear the next drug. They fear an informed public that stops feeding the disease. Sugar is cancer's lifeblood, and you have the power to take it away. The truth has been buried for nearly 100 years, but you're hearing it now. The question is, what will you do with it? If this video opened your eyes, share it. Leave a comment. Tag someone who needs to hear this. And if you're ready to take the next step, to break free from the food matrix and reclaim your health, join me. Join me inside the 90-Day Carnivore Blueprint. We have an amazing, growing community. And I want you to be a part of it. The link is below. Your body can heal, but you have to stop feeding the enemy. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you want to follow me for more content on Instagram, my username is Sam underscore high MD. Once again, thank you guys. I love you. I will see you in the next video.